the DAC approved procurement of 12 high-power radars for the Indian Air Force to detect missile threats. The radars will provide long-range, medium and high-altitude cover while detecting and tracking high-speed airborne targets. The active phased array technology allows electronic scanning in azimuth as well as elevation. These radars have non-rotating design with multiple planar arrays to provide 3,600 coverage in azimuth in surveillance mode ability to classify targets as large, medium and small fixed-wing aircraft, rotary-wing aircraft, air-launched standoff weapons and UAV automatically. The radar will be capable of resolving target in four dimensions, 4D, namely range, azimuth, height, and Doppler velocity. The radar will be capable to operate non-stop for minimum 1,000 hours. It will have capability to detect targets in excess of 400 kilometers in range and have advanced electronic counter-countermeasures, ECCM, capabilities. The radar also have have three or more auxiliary or decoy transmitters to counter anti-radiation missile from all directions. Track handling capacity of 1000 or more with speed accuracy of plus slash minus 25 meters per second it is capable of operation in TWS mode, azimuth coverage of 360 degrees, detection coverage 35 degrees with negative elevation coverage option. Minimum detection range of 10 km, detection coverage of 30 km, FT mode ability to track operator designated and maneuvering 6 grams or more air breathing targets, HPM mode, ability to track designated targets of special interest to achieve better accuracies than FT, independently and simultaneously on each planner array except when operating in specific mode. Ability to detect and track targets having RCS of 0.1 square meters or less following parabolic trajectory. The first radar will be delivered within 18 months of the effective date of the contract and the balance 11 radars and other deliverables should be supplied in a phased manner within 62 months of signing the contract at one radar every 4 months after delivery of first radar so that all deliveries are completed within 62 months. It will be qualified for deployment up to an altitude of 3,000 meters above mean sea level and withstand severe environment conditions existing at these deployment sites. PMO sanctioned and DRDO owned the VC-11184 is the designated name of a missile tracking ocean surveillance ship, OSS, constructed by Hindustan Shipyard Limited. The OSS one of the largest warships to be built at an Indian yard weighing in at over 15,000 tons, successfully undergoing harbor trials and is set to be delivered by December this year. It will host two types of tracking radars, a long-range L-band active phased array tracking radar for monitoring the flight trajectory of ballistic missiles like ICBMs and SLBMs, and an X-band precision tracking radar, this too being an active phased array type that will be used for tracking the inbound flight trajectories of MIRF type warheads. The long range L band active phased array tracking radar will be a derivative of the indigenously designed and developed L band, Monopulse Multi Object Tracking Radar, MOTR, that is now operational at Israel's Shah. The more can track 10 different objects simultaneously with a range of nearly 1,000 kilometers while objects measuring up to 30 cm by 30 cm can be tracked at a distance of 800 km, in case of objects measuring 50 cm by 50 cm size, the radar can track at a slant range of 1000 km. The second Mrysaw technology demonstration vessel, ATV-2, is being built at a cost of ours. 425 crores by the cocky based Cochin Shipyard Limited and is expected to be delivered by late 2019. Though the purpose of this ship is not sure yet but this 130 meter long rice is expected to be equipped with a smaller version of the Mort known as the M Mort as well as expand active phased array precision tracking radar. This MRICE will be used for monitoring the flight trajectories of long-range subsonic and supersonic land-attack cruise missiles, especially during their terminal phases of flight.